In today's video, I shall show you how to exactly set up Pareto Graphics in Fortnite OG Season 1. Whether you are using AMD, Intel or Nvidia GPU, these tweaks drastically improve your FPS and also give you that competitive edge with lightning fast response time. So guys stick around because I have got some pro tip that most people miss and trust me they make all the difference. So guys without wasting any time let's dive straight into over this video. So guys in the first step of this video we are going to optimize our epic game settings for our fortnite season OG. So for that you need to go for library of your epic games launch and find out here your fortnite game. Now you need to go for three dots, open up the options and from here you need to uncheck high resolution textures and also if you are playing on the DirectX 12 so guys make sure to check mark onto the DirectX 12 shutter otherwise if you are playing on the performance mode so guys uncheck this box but I'm playing on the DirectX 12 therefore I can fix all the buggy glitches in the potato graphics. Next here you got the pre-download stream is it. So guys make sure to also download these pre-download stream is it because this will help on your low end PC to fixing the stutters and FPS drops while you are in the game. So therefore download and check mark on these two boxes. Now hit apply. After doing it now you need to go for the profile icon. Open up the settings. Now scroll all the way down and use here one simple command that is use all available cores. This command will actually help you to improving your PC performance and giving you more FPS in Fortnite. So guys after doing it now let's go for the next step in which we are going to clean our shutter cache and we are going to remove all the junk files before applying the potato graphics. So for that you need to press windows R together from your keyboard and type here percentage temp percentage and hit ok. Now select all the folders and files from here and right click, hit delete and delete everything from this folder. This will give you this kind of the error message so guys simply click on this cancel button because these files is running in your background so therefore your system not allow you to, to deleting the files. So guys now simply close out of this folder. Now in the next step you need to download this AMD Predator Graphics and Nvidia Predator Graphics pack on your PC. Link available down in the description. So for downloading this pack open up the link from description that will take you onto my this website and from here you can download this pack on your PC. So guys once you download now select all these files from here and put it on your desktop and click on the replace files in the destination. So once you have replaced your file, now in the very first step here we got our AMD Predator Graphics. In the second step here we got our Nvidia Predator Graphics method. So guys let's start with the Nvidia because I have Nvidia GPU but I will show you later how to set up it for your Intel or AMD. So first go with the Nvidia Predator Graphics. Here you will find out Fortnite Predator settings and Nvidia profile inspector.exe file. So double tap on this exe file, hit yes. And now you need to go for this profile section and search for the fort and you will find out here your fortnite game. Now once you go out here this is kind of the green area or the green address of your fortnite directory. Now it's mean now you can change the settings inside it. Now you need to go for this import option because I have already set up everything for you. So you need to go for your desktop, open up the nvidia potato graphics folder and open up fortnite potato settings. So here we got over this file. Now hit open, profile, successfully import it and hit ok. Now all the settings automatically be applied on your PC. Now after doing it, now click on the supply changes button and apply these changes inside your NVIDIA profile inspector. By the way, if you want to do the settings back to the normal, so here you will find out this button that is restore current profile to NVIDIA default and this will reset your all the settings back to the normal. Now simply close out of NVIDIA profile inspector. Now for the next step, open up AMD Potato Graphics folder and this can also work for your Intel GPU. So now open up this game view settings, right click here and now you need to copy this file from here. Now press Windows R together from your keyboard. Once you got here this kind of the run window, now type here percentage, local app data percentage and hit enter. Now go for Fortnite game folder, saved, config, Windows client, now go for it paste it here and replace your file destination. Once you have replaced this file, I have already done everything inside this file. I have set the graphics onto the ultra low, I have disabled the grass, I have also tweaked your latency settings. So therefore you need to just simply put here this file. And guys again you can find out this pack in the link in the description. So guys here we are in Fortnite and you can check out here we already got here our potato graphics in Fortnite season OG. So guys now let's jump into our Fortnite settings first of all. So go for your profile, 
open up your Fortnite settings. So first of all, this is your display settings. You need to set it on your uh, favorite one. You can set it onto the Windows full screen. The resolution, turn off the VSync, frame rate onto the unlimited. And here is the rendering mode. If you wanna get the smooth potato graphics without any kind of glitches or buggy ground, so guys, I suggest you to play onto the DirectX 12. But if you have a low end PC and you want more FPS, so then go with the performance mode. But personally, I am going with the DirectX 12. Now scroll down, you can set the graphic settings according to your needs. Now here we got our graphic settings. Now from here you need to simply find out this Nanite virtual light geometry and turn on the settings. There we can get the smooth ground. Now click on the supply button and guys that's it. You need to apply these settings inside your Fortnite settings with your DirectX 12. And now let's jump into our Fortnite game. Daddy, oh, man. तक मैं अच्छा फिर मैं आज ही तो वैसा रहूँ ऐसे तो नहीं मैं कहता हूँ 